Hey guys, it's John Grimm of Grimm Swords and Eyes, and today we're going to talk about the Tactical Warrior Tanto Full Tang Emergency Neck Knife. Yep, again with the ridiculous names, but whatever. Here we have it. It's just a very small, minimalist neck knife with a lot of skeletonization for lightweight purposes, and speaking of which, the whole thing is very lightweight, so gotta give it some credit for that. So, jumping right into it, we will talk about uh, dimensions. We have a blade length, like a cutting edge of two and three quarter inches. All right, so we have handle length from the very tip to uh, this portion right here of three and ten sixteenths, or three and five eighths, and a full length of six and ten sixteenths, or six and five eighths. Real quick in terms of blade stock thickness, this is a relatively thin blade. Yep, there you go, about one and a half sixteenths. That'll do it for measurements. Let's jump right into the specs. You're looking at a 440 stainless blade, full tank construction, and ABS plastic handle scales, an ABS plastic sheath, and a 35 inch paracord necklace. And I say it with sarcasm because, guys, it feels a lot more like nylon to me. I think they're just playing off of the fact that a lot of people aren't going to tell, be able to tell the difference. But I can, so. Right. Uh, lock up on this knife is really good. Just slide that right in there. And the way it locks is these two go together, kind of like a keyhole. And it really snaps in place and no matter how hard I shake, it doesn't want to come out. Now what makes this uh, a special knife is the sheath comes with a whistle. Let me show this off really good. It's a whistle. Plain and simple. And now I shall demonstrate to you the whistle. And that's probably got to be one of the most embarrassing things I've done on YouTube to date. Anyway, moving on from that. As you may have noticed, the whistle has a very um, almost airy feel to it. Like it doesn't, it's not a prime whistle, whatever a prime whistle would be. Yeah, guys, yeah, it's, it, it's got a rape whistle. It's got a tanto full tang knife. I mean, it's got it's got a really great point. I was able to sharpen this up really good the other day, and the point got like scary sharp. Really good for these sorts of flat cuts really good I got dull immediately but whatever now you might have noticed this has a sort of recurve shape to it I can't stand that personally because that made sharpening so much more difficult the very back of this edge is bad like most of that never even gets sharpened it just it looks bad you can see where the plunge groove starts but where the actual edge starts is like a whole two sixteenths of an inch outer like it's ridiculous blade has some flex to it, but that's because of all the holes in it, not that big of a deal. It is lightweight. It's rather ergonomic, I can't complain too much. I mean, I have big hands, this is a small knife, so I'd imagine if you have smaller hands it'll fit even better in your hands. It has decent jimping, you can see there's some thumb jimping right here for your thumb. It even has a little ramp, which is good, you know, it stops your thumb from going any further, really locks it in place. Uh, there's some jimping right here for your index finger. That's it for the jimping, but honestly, I feel like that's the only place you would really need it, especially for my large hands. I'm not really grabbing it anywhere else, it's just those two spots, so. I mean, guys, I would imagine this is like specifically designed for tactical purposes, you know, high speed, low drag. Oh no, someone's trying to rape me or whatever. Pulls out knife, whistles. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's for that. I guess, but I gotta tell you, uh, I don't see a purpose for this, I guess for self-defense for women or children, although children should be carrying knives, it's irresponsible, I don't know guys, I'm having a hard time seeing a purpose for this knife, what I mean, it's gonna cost you about $8 on Amazon, the only thing I would recommend if you buy this knife is sharpen the edge yourself, cause the edge is garbage that it comes with. 
and remove this crap nylon choking hazard for a, a, a little, you know, steel ball chain thing. Those are breakawayable. Is that a term? Breakawayable? That can't be a term. Anyway, point is, you know, switch it out for that because that's that's safer. You are getting low quality materials, you know, ABS plastic sheath and handle scales, but you are getting a full tang blade. And the main purpose of this knife, I would imagine, is self-defense, guys. As you guys may know from, you know, my previous videos, I don't exactly condone self-defense with knives. It's just, it's a dangerous, risky game. Maybe it'll deter them, maybe it won't. You pull out a knife, what if they pull out a gun, you know? Who brings a knife to a gunfight? <sighs> no, in all seriousness, though. If you feel like you need a self-defense knife, never go cheap. If it's for self-defense, 100%, spend the big bucks for something that you know is gonna be good steel quality, won't snap on you, won't, you know, corrode, because you might get blood on it. The whole shebang. I'm not that big on neck knives for self-defense purposes. This knife doesn't really call to me, but if it's your thing, it's your thing, you know. It's gonna cost you what, $8 on Amazon, there will be a link in the description, you can check it out. Yeah, this is, for me, it's a polarizing knife, but I've been rambling long enough. This is it, guys, this is your Tactical Warrior Tanto Full Tang Emergency Neck Knife with Whistle. This is also what I have to say about it. Alright guys, it's John Graham with Grim Swords and Knives. I hope you found this video entertaining and informative, but most importantly, I hope it made your day a little less grim. Bye.